Hey Piscatorians, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to smoke Lake Whitefish. First we got to catch them, then I'll show you how to smoke. We're at Banks Lake and it looks like the smoke from the Oregon fires have uh, really rolled in here. This is not fog behind us, it's all the smoke. So uh, thankfully we packed some respirators and we're still going to try to go out here and catch some fish. Okay, so day two, we decided to change our rigging up. We added a couple of drop shot weights to the bottom of the line, and then we uh, snelled three hooks, because in fresh water, you can use up to three hooks. And we did three size tens, about six inch uh, separation. And uh, we're able to put three shrimp down. And then uh, ended up dropping them to the bottom today, reeling up a couple cranks. And it's almost like squid fishing. Um, you feel a little bit of uh, pressure release off the rod, like you feel that weight just pick up a little bit. And uh, once you felt that, you had a fish on. Um, this helped us catch a lot of fish, as you're going to see right here. Uh, so definitely a better rig than uh, day one. So I would recommend doing the uh, three snelled hooks with uh, weights on the bottom. Finally, day two, got the big whitefish. So what a great way to uh, end our trip. Uh, we ended up getting two limits, which is 30 fish. You get 15 fish a piece. Uh, now we're gonna go head back and uh, go home and I'm gonna show you uh, how I smoke these up. So to smoke these uh, white fish today, we're going to make a simple dry cure using brown sugar, canning pickling salt, and ice cream salt. Um, basically we're going to use uh, equal parts, so one cup, one cup, one cup, and until you get the desired uh, amount that you need to smoke the fish that you're smoking. Okay, and basically we've taken that mixture. Um, I've done uh, three cups of uh, canning pickling salt three cups of rock salt and three cups of brown sugar and then you're just going to take your hands 
mix it real well in a bowl. And then we're going to go ahead and coat the fish in this and then let the fish sit for 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I'm probably going to let them go to an hour. The longer you let them sit, the saltier they're going to get. So it's just something to uh, kind of try and figure out what you like the best. But I'm going to go an hour uh, with these fish and then uh, we'll towel pat them, rinse them off, towel pat them dry, and uh, let them, you know, form a pellicle overnight. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do here is sprinkle a little of the uh, cure into the uh, bottom of your tray. Just kind of get a base of the salt and sugar. And then this is the uh, white fish. I went ahead and scaled it. As you can see, it's a nice white meat fish. That's a cousin to the uh, salmon and the trout. Notice the adipose fin. And basically, we're just going to fill a little bit of that salt mixture in there lay it down and we're going to repeat the process until we get this full and we're going to go ahead and put a little layer of the dry cure mixture on top and keep building that up we'll be back in a second to show you what it looks like when it's done all right guys so that's all the white fish in the dry cure. Um, we're gonna let it sit there for approximately one hour, and then I'm gonna come back and uh, rinse all the cure off of them, towel pat them dry, and then we're gonna leave them in the, uh, I'm just gonna put them in my oven rack and let them uh, air dry overnight, and then tomorrow morning we'll put them in the smoker. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, rinsed that cure off after uh, an hour of it uh, sitting in the dry cure towel padded the white fish dry and then I'm just putting them in the oven and I'm gonna let them kind of air dry overnight and then tomorrow morning uh, we'll be back and put them in a the smoker see you in a minute all right guys it's the next morning got the uh, white fish loaded in the smoker go ahead and lock that up And power on. I think we'll start it at uh, 165 and go about six hours. And then we'll check it in three, probably flip them over, maybe bump up the temperature if needed. It's a little bit cooler today. So we'll be back in three hours to flip them. All right, time to check these uh, white fish, see how they're doing. Oh yeah, starting to smoke up nice. See that? Oops, fogged up the camera. And they're smoking up nice, starting to color. Now we're just going to go ahead and flip these. Like so. Gets a little of that extra moisture out of them. Still pretty wet, even though they're drying all night. Or maybe that's oil. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll uh, flip them and keep them smoking. All right, boys. Let's see how these came out. Oh, they look pretty smoked to me. Oh yeah. Nice. Have to get those out and try them. There's the uh, smoked mountain whitefish. Ambush is uh, wanting to get in the video. All right, guys. So the smoked whitefish is all done. Got it vacuum sealed, and uh, even have a little bit out right here. I already helped myself to a little bit of it, but uh, came out just perfect texture. Nice and oily. I don't know if you guys can see that on my fingers, but it's a. Uh, Perfect consistency. Mmm. And tastes great. It's my first time uh, catching whitefish and smoking whitefish, but uh, definitely going to go after them again. Um, I think it's probably uh, one of the overlooked resources here in Washington. So I uh, recommend you guys get out there. Thanks for watching. If you like today's video, hit that thumbs up button for me. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, guys, tie lines.